welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nakia. I'm a first year dental student at Ohio State and today I'm going to be doing a week in my life. So today is Monday the 21st. It's 8.20. We have class at 8.30. Today is actually our first exam of dental school. So we have an anatomy exam and practical today. I studied a lot for it. I actually feel pretty good about it. So Hopefully that goes well. Being someone who struggles with anxiety at times, I was actually really happy with myself because I feel prepared for the exam. I wasn't stressing. I actually slept really well last night, which doesn't happen when I'm super anxious. So at the end of the day, I can only control the things that I have control over. So I just made sure that I was prepared enough for the exam and I felt ready for it. That's really all you can do because I can't control what she puts on the exam or, you know, the questions that were asked or whether, you know, this is fill in the blank or, you know, those things are out of my control. So I really just kept telling myself, like, you study, you know, the material, you just have to go and take the test. And that's really helped me. So... We have that today at 12.30, but first we have class at 8.30, for, which is oral anatomy, and then we have biochemistry question and answer session. I might just go on for the beginning because we have a biochem exam next week, so I want to see if they say anything about the exam, and then I'm probably just going to turn it off and just review anatomy until the exam starts. So just wanted to come on here and intro the video, and I will catch up with you all later. So a quick little outfit of the day. I'm wearing head-to-toe Gymshark. <laughs> They have the best athleisure. Um, these are my favorite joggers. I'll link them down below if you're interested. But this is seriously the best part of online classes. So oh, I'm going to go get ready to be on my biochem exam and I will check in with you all later. Okay, hello everyone. It is a little while later. Uh, my exam is over. It was okay. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't even know what to think about it at this point. It's fine. It's done. It's over. I'm moving on to the next thing. I'm on my way to the dental school. We have a practical on Thursday, so I'm going to go practice again for that. And then when I come back, I'm going to just study operative for the rest of the night because we have a quiz tomorrow. So that's what's going on. I will check in with you all probably in some clinic, but we'll see. Today is Tuesday. It's 1014. I just got back from Oral Anatomy Lab, which you would have seen in the last clip. We were just practicing waxing. We did tooth ID. We did a practice quiz just so we could see how she's going to ask us questions for our midterm that's next week. That was helpful. And then I also went and talked to my operative professor about our classroom prep. So I kind of have an idea of what they're looking for. It's very helpful because we have a practical on Thursday so that's coming up I have one more practice session where I'll get to do one more class prep and hopefully feel confident going into the practical but we'll see so the only other thing we have today is we have a quiz at one and operative and that'll be it so I'm very excited to be ending early today because I have a lot to do we have three exams two midterms next week so well we have three exams total. Two of them are midterms. One of them is just the first exam. So I got to get studying. And then we start a new anatomy section tomorrow. So I kind of want to get ahead of that because I felt like I was behind last time. And that test is like in two weeks. So lots to do. But I will probably not check back in until tomorrow. Tomorrow we have intro to clinic and then anatomy. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Hello everyone, this is 
my first time talking to the vlog today, um, but it's been a busy day. This morning we had intro clinic at 7.30 and then at 9.30 I stayed and just did a couple more class one preps because our practical is tomorrow, so I don't know. And this has been a crazy week for me. I've just been very... I don't, I, I don't know. My anxiety has just been on a different level and it's been hard to kind of adjust and not doubt myself. And that's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to really kind of get under control and get under control fast because I've been having a lot of self doubt. So I just wanted to share that because it's real and especially these past two weeks and this next week that we have coming up, there's a lot going on and I don't know, I haven't been handling it the best, so I'm gonna try to change my mindset and really just restart, regroup, and stop doubting myself. That's really one of the hardest things I think that I have experienced so far in dental school is that everyone kind of gets things at their own pace and not comparing yourself to other people is really so important because just because I maybe understand something someone else may not understand it or someone may be really good at the class one prep and maybe I'm struggling with the class one prep you know things like that just not comparing yourself to others but then also like I was picked to be here for a reason and just understanding that and and reminding myself that and that I'm gonna eventually learn it yes I may fail I may make mistakes and just being comfortable with that and learning from that and preventing that from happening again. So I'm learning. <laughs> it's only like my fifth week in dental school, but I just wanted to share that because I thought it was important and something that needed to be said. You always have good days and bad days, especially in dental school. You can have really good days and then you can have really bad days where your prep doesn't go the way you wanted it to or you don't do as well on a test or quiz that you wanted to. So. I'm just dealing with that and I'm going to change my mindset and change kind of my schedule and figure out what works best for me and I'll probably show that at some point. So I just wanted to check in but it is Wednesday if I haven't said it's Wednesday and it's 4.35 we just got out of anatomy today and I am going to take a quick little break and then I'm going to go ahead and study. So I want to go and get started on anatomy and get ahead of that and stay on top of it because we have a test in two weeks, which is crazy since we just had one. But um, I want to stay on top of that. I need to study for biochem because we have an exam next week. And then I need to study cardiology and oral anatomy. So I'm going to try to figure out how to break it up so that I'm studying a little bit today and studying a little bit each day to make it a little bit easier on myself come next week when we have those three exams. So, like I said, I'm gonna go take a break and then I will probably show a little bit of my studying, um, just like my setup. Like I said, I'm gonna do eventually do a whole desk tour and stuff and still kind of finalizing the things on my desk, but I'm going to show that eventually. So, I'm gonna take a break and then I will probably talk to you all tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, probably tomorrow. So, I will see you later. everyone it's Thursday at 8 50 I'm on my way to our first practical so hopefully that goes well I will let you all know I have my cute little good luck <laughs> cup that my grandma got me so I'm headed to school and I will check in with you all later hello everyone I just realized that I forgot to check in this morning we had our practical um <laughs> it went all right I did end up nicking one of the walls so that was kind of frustrating i think i was just nervous my hand was shaky and i ended up nicking that wall so i literally left it 
that's what our professors had to do, leave it. I tried to make everything else as good as I could. So hopefully it passes. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it is what it is at this point. It's like in dental school, you really have to like focus on that one thing when you're doing it and then like move on because you have like 50 other things that you need to be worried about. So I'm to the point, yes, during the exam, I like wanted to cry, but now I'm just like, okay, like I have other stuff to be worried about. So yeah, so after that, I just had oral anatomy lecture and then a cardiology lecture. We have three exams next week, so I've been starting to study for those, and that's what I'm going to do tonight. We do have some asynchronous anatomy lectures that we need to watch, so that's like going to take up a good amount of time, but I'm going to do that and then study the rest of the night, so... I probably will just check in tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm meeting up with the other people in student government for the D1 class. We have to work on something. So I'm meeting with them and then we have anatomy lab. So I may vlog tomorrow. <laughs> I may not. So if I don't, I'll just close the, the video. So if not, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello vlog. <laughs> it has been a while since I recorded the stuff that you just watched. It's literally two weeks later. That was the first anatomy exam and the first practical. So today, two weeks <laughs> after what you saw in this video, we had our second anatomy exam. And then last week we had three exams. So it's been crazy, it's been hectic, so I didn't vlog at all these last two weeks. So I wanted to come on here and close this video. I'm still gonna post it even though I am feeling a lot different than I did in those clips because I think it would just be beneficial to post it. But a lot has changed, like I said, a lot has happened. We've had a lot of exams, but I think I'm learning a lot about myself <laughs> in this experience and you know, I'm grateful for it. I think that dental school and adjusting to dental school is different for everybody. So I think everybody goes through a transitionary period in dental school. And for some people, it may be really easy, a great smooth transition. And for others, not so much. I'm realizing that. And I think it's important to know that everybody is at a different place in dental school mentally and how they're handling things and just you know, I guess everybody just experiences dental school differently. And so I'm learning that. And that's been something that's hard for me is to not compare myself to, you know, my class or whatever. Just doing good and doing my best is really what I'm striving for at this point, you know. I um, mean, of course, passing all my classes. But it's been interesting. I'm going to continue to talk about it in other vlogs, but just wanted to do a little update. I'm definitely in a transition state right now, and hopefully this next half of the semester will go a lot smoother for me. So I have a lot of things that I need to change, and like how I study and how I'm retaining information. And that's interesting because every class is different. So whereas for biochem, I was good on that, I just memorized the study guide and the test is super easy. Whereas maybe anatomy I didn't do as well on and I have to figure out what works best for me and what works best for that specific class. And so I'm working on it. Like I said, we're almost halfway through the semester. Next week, I guess would be halfway through. And so we'll see. But I just wanted to give that little update and close this video. See, also we got our practical scores back, so I thought I failed it. <laughs> I did not fail it. I actually did really well. I ended up getting a 2.5, which is a B in Operative Lab. So this high score you can get is a 4. Nobody gets a 4. That's like clinically perfect. <laughs> I don't even think actual dentists would get a 4. A 4 and then passing is a 2. So I got a 2.5 and that's equivalent to a B in that class. I actually have the cute little prep with me. So let's see if I can show. You might not be able to see it, but let's see here. I'm trying to zoom in. There she is. So cute. <laughs> you can barely see it, but maybe if I zoom out. Yeah, that's a little better. So 
this is my prep. It's very interesting because of the fact that I nicked this wall. You can kind of see here. I was really nervous and anxious and I, my hand slipped in the middle of the breath. I, I'll try to flip it around and show you all. But I, I ended up getting a 2-5. My thing was I hit that wall and I was literally about to cry in the middle of the exam. But I was like, you know what, Nakia, let me just try to get everything as good as I could get it. And hopefully it would pass. That's why I was like, oh, I definitely failed it because I nicked the wall. But... I didn't fail it, so <laughs> I actually got a 2.5, which is really good. So let me show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so you can kind of see here, I do have a few little burn dots on there now that I'm looking at it. So that's really as good as I can get it, but as you can see, the floor is pretty smooth. It was angled. They said it was a little shallow on the distal side, so love that, but it was smooth. The outline is pretty good. I actually, they said a really great understanding of outline form on my rubric so yeah i thought the outline was pretty good but the walls are sharp of course i have that place where i hit the wall but not too bad for the first practical and like i said i had a 2-5 which is so exciting i'm gonna keep this tooth forever <laughs> that's the end of this video thank you all so much for watching i'm sorry it's been delayed i hope you enjoyed it be sure to like leave me a comment with any questions that you may have or something that you would like to see in my videos and I will see you all in my next one. Be sure to subscribe if I didn't say that already. Okay, bye.